Hello friends. In this video, we are going to write a program in the assembly language of 8051 microcontroller to multiply two 8-bit numbers. Means we are going to use the instructions from the instruction set of 8051 microcontroller and using those instructions, we will multiply, we will write a program to multiply two 8-bit numbers whose multiplication is going to produce a result which is a 16-bit number. Okay, so let's start with our program. <music> see the program statement for this. So we have to write a program to multiply two 8-bit numbers which are stored in external memory location 3000H and 3001H, okay? So for multiplication, we are requiring two 8-bit numbers. First number is at 3000 and second number is at 3001. And these two numbers are the 8-bit numbers. Okay, and these numbers are stored in the external memory that is also to be keep in mind. After that, store the result when we have done the multiplication of these two numbers, then we have to store the results in the memory location 3020H and 3021H. So when we multiply two 8-bit numbers, the result of this multiplication is a 16-bit number. So 16-bit number is going to have two bytes, okay? Means uh, two 88-bit numbers will be there. So it's MSB, that is most significant byte, and LSB, that is least significant byte. So MSB is to be stored at 3020, and LSB, that is least significant byte, is to be stored at 203021, okay? So this is the aim of our program that we have to multiply two 8-bit numbers and result is the 16-bit number which is to be stored at this and numbers are stored in the external memory. Okay. Now how we are going to implement this program? Let's see. First of all, because we have to write the program using the assembly language of 8051 microcontroller. So we will use the instructions from the instruction set of 8051. Okay. Now in 8051, if we want to use the external memory, because the two numbers which we want to multiply, they are present in the external memory. So first of all, these numbers are to be shifted into the accumulator because in 8051 microcontroller we are having an instruction for multiplication which is mul and this is mul a and b so a is our accumulator and b is the register b so one number should be in the accumulator and another sh number should be in the register B then only we can use this instruction MUL and we can do the multiplication okay so what we will do the number which is in the external memory we will first shift this number from the external memory to the accumulator then we will shift this number from accumulator to register B okay so first number has come up into the register B. Then second number which is at the second memory location, first number was at 3000, second number is at 3001. So we will increment this external memory, okay, that will come to 3001. Then we will shift that number again into the accumulator and 
sub, the second number will come into the accumulator and after that we will use this instruction mul and we will get the result now to use this external memory we have to use a memory pointer and for external memory in 8051 we are having a memory pointer which is called the data pointer or also called dptr this is a 16 bit pointer because it is pointing towards the 16 bit memory address okay so it is going to carry the address in it it is also divided into two parts dph and dpl that is higher in the lower bytes so suppose that we are having 3000 so it will contain 30 and it will contain 00 okay so we will use this pointer to point towards this memory location first this pointer will be at 3000 again this pointer will be incremented it will come to 3001 so in this way we can use the two numbers which are you uh, stored at these two memory location and bring those two numbers in the a and the b registers and then we will multiply them and get the result of our multiplication and store that result at 3020 and 3021 now the result of this multiplication will also come in the a and the b register in A register, we will get the least significant bit and in the B register, we will get the most significant bit. It is a 16-bit number because after multiplication of two 8-bit numbers, we will get a 16-bit number. So, 16-bit numbers will be divided into two. First part will be stored in A and second part will be stored in B. So first A will be stored in 3020 and B will be stored in 3021 and these two locations are again present in the external memory so again we will use the data pointer to point towards these two memory locations. So this is how we are going to implement our program. This is the logic behind uh, the logic which is we which we are going to use to write our program. Now because here I have described you that how you are going to multiply the two numbers but when we write the program we have to provide the sequence okay that first step will be this second step will be this third will be this so what we will do we will draw the flow chart for this program because in the flow chart we will get the direction of flow of the instructions that how the uh, steps are going to be executed so let's draw the flow chart for this. In flow chart, we will first block is the start block. The flow chart always start with the start block and end with the stop block. Now first step is to get our first number. then get the second number so second step is to get the second number now when we have got these two numbers we have to multiply the two numbers and when we have got the multiplication then just to store the result and then stop so just a simple procedure we have to follow we have to get the two numbers we have to multiply them and then we have to store the result okay and for multiplication we are having the direct instruction in 8051 which is mul but just we have to do the logic that how we are going to get the number from the external memory okay now to write the program what we will do we will just replace these blocks with the instructions. Yes. 
Now, as I have, uh, it is given to us in the question that first number is at 3000 memory location and second number is at the 3001 memory location. And uh, for the external memory, we will use the DPTR data pointer. So, first instruction that is to initialize this data pointer DPTR with the first number address that is 3000 h h means that it is in the hexadecimal notation this sign means that we are using the immediate addressing means that immediate data is given to you in the instruction itself and you have to move that data or copy that data into the data pointer so dptr is going to get this data 3000 now, this number, because at 3000, we are having the first number. So, now this first number is to be shifted into the accumulator. Because multiplication we can do using A and B registers. So, we have to get the first and the second number in the A and B registers. So, we will move. Because DPTR is the external memory, so move X is there. In A, what is there in the DPTR? And the address, indirect addressing is to be used. This sign is for the indirect address. Because in DPTR, we are having the address. We are not having the data. The number is not present in DPTR. It is present at the address, which is in DPTR. So indirect address, we are providing that get the number which is at the memory location or at the address which is in DPTR, get that number and copy that number into the accumulator. And because DPTR is written here, so X that is for the external memory. Okay. So in accumulator, we have got our first number. Now this number is to be shifted into the register B. Okay. Because if we want to get the second number, which is at 3001, so again, it has to be shifted from the DPTR to the accumulator because exchange can only be done in the from the external memory with the accumulator only. We cannot write register B here. Okay, we can only write register A here. So every time if we want to move any content from the external memory into the internal memory, we have to first move it into the accumulator A register. Okay, then only after that we can move into it in the any of the other register. So uh, when the number has come in A, then we will move that number into B register. Okay, now after that we will increment our DPTR so that it can come to 3001. Now again the number which is in 3000 we will shift it into the accumulator. So again this instruction is going to be written. So in A we are having our second number and in B we are having our first number. Okay. Now we have to do the multiplication. So we will use M U L A B. Multiplication we have done. After multiplication, A is having the LSB of the result and B is having the MSB digit of the result. So, A is to be stored at 3020 and B is to be stored at 3021. So what we will do, the number, these 3020 and 21, they are also in the external memory. So first we will shift A into the DPTR. Okay. First we will initialize the DPTR with this address 3020. So now data pointer is having. So DPTR is having. 
uh, because now we have to store the results so we have to initialize it with these two empty locations so in dptr we will initialize it with 3020 now in a we are having the lsb so we will move x the address which is in dptr at that address we are going to copy the contents of accumulator after that we are going to increment the data pointer when we increment the data pointer it will now become 3021 okay so we have incremented the dptr again we are moving because now we have to store the msb which is in b so first we have to move that msb into accumulator because same logic applies here also that if you want to store any data from internal memory to external memory then you can you have to use only the register a so register b cannot be stored directly into that external memory you have to first shift that number into the accumulator so move the contents of b into a then move the contents of a into the external memory that is at dptr 3021 so at 3020 we are having the lsb at 3021 we are having the msb of the result so we have got our result then end the program End is the last statement of any program of eight zero five one microcontroller. It is going to terminate the program. Any instruction written after this will not be executed by the microcontroller. And end is to as an essential instruction at the end of the program. So at end you have to write this E N D instruction. So what we have done in this program, we have multiplied two numbers. Okay, for multiplication, we have the direct instruction in A zero five one that is M U L A and B. So A and B register they are multiplied. But if the two numbers they are not present in the A and B registers, but they are present in some external memory, then how you will multiply them? First, you have to move those numbers into from the external memory into the A and B registers, and then you have to multiply. Okay, so if uh, how you will shift for external memory, you will use the DPTR. First, move that number into A, then move that number into B. Again, increment the DPTR, then move the second number into A. So in B, you will have first. In A, you will have second number. multiply these two you will get the result result is again in a and b in a you will have the lsb in b you are having the msb again store this lsb and msb in the external memory using the dptr so this is the process which we have done in the program using the following instructions we have first initialized it with 3000h we have moved the data into a moved the data into b then increment data pointer moved the second number into a multiply them then store the result first initialize the dptr again by 3020 these memory locations are given to us in the question itself okay so dptr first lsb is stored at 3020 after that dptr is incremented and then b is shifted into a because we can directly cannot directly store b into the external memory we have to first shift the data into accumulator then accumulator is stored at the dptr that is next memory location 3021 and then end of the program so here we have written the assembly language program using the 8051 microcontroller instructions okay and this program is going to be used to multiply the two 8 bit numbers whose result is a 16 bit number and these two numbers are stored in the external memory of the microcontroller so i hope that this program is now clear to you thank you